important thing that you will come across in your course, uh, in your examination. And it's a very important uh, question uh, from the examination point of view. That is extended surface analysis. Extended surface is once again fins. Analysis is the mathematical analysis means we're going to derivate something. Okay. Now, please look at this very, very carefully. Okay. Look at this very carefully. So, first of all, this is the main body. Okay. This is the main body. Okay. So, body means anything which is actually generating heat. Suppose if this is the engine cylinder, if this is the engine cylinder, okay, and this is a cylindrical fin, this is a cylindrical fin, okay, this is a cylindrical fin. So, the body temperature is Tb, okay, the body temperature is Tb, and this is a cylindrical fin having some diameter d okay this is the cross section ac so this is the cross section ac okay having some diameter okay now what we have done is we have taken this element it's a, again a cylindrical element since the fin is cylindrical so the element has to be a cylindrical one so now we are enlarging this view here okay now you need to do uh, you need to again do the heat balance okay now how will you do the heat balance so, what all heats are coming in and going out? First of all, from body to body, there will be conduction. I'm writing out here. From solid to solid, there will be conduction. Because, suppose if it's an engine body, so there will be combustion going on here. Okay? So, there is heat source. So, when there is a heat source, so heat has to get transferred from this body to this body. So, it's a conduction. Okay? So, you can see this is a conduction. And you know which law is this by now? This is Fourier's law of conduction. Okay? This is the element I have already told you. And its thickness, its thickness is dx. I need to write it here. Its thickness is dx. So, by far, you have understood now what will be qx and when it crosses the thickness dx, what it, what it will become. So, it will become qx plus dx and you know the formula for qx plus dx so the elemental heat will be added to the main heat main heat is the qx that is being conducted from this body to this body mean from the main body to the fin and when it crosses this element having thickness dx then this becomes qx plus dx so this elemental heat will be added to this main heat okay and AC is the cross-sectional area, as we all know. So, and moreover, it also gives us convective heat. So, this is ambient here. This is ambient. All around. This is ambient. All around. Ambient. So, it's T infinity. T infinity. And T infinity. So, definitely, from solid to fluid, there will be convection from solid to fluid there will be convection okay so from solid to fluid there will be convection so there will be fourier's law fourier's law and then there will be newton's law so what kind of heat is coming in and what kind of heat is going out so if you see this qx is coming in qx plus dx is going out okay and convection is also going out. Actually, it is out. Convection. Okay. So, we need to have energy balance across this element along with, the, uh, along with all the heat that is coming in and going out. So, you can see this D convection, DQ, DQ convection, okay, because the area is elemental. So, that is why the heat already we have taken as elemental so it's h a delta t basically okay energy balance now let's look at the energy balance energy balance energy balance will be qx is equals to qx plus dx is equals to dq convection is equals to this okay so you just apply all the formula so qx plus dx and dq convection will be on one side 
and qx will be on the other side okay so just apply the formula here just apply the formula here and you will find out this is the one of the main, this is the main equation this is the main energy balance equation okay so the uh, analysis we continue so this is just a mathematical thing it is d square t by dx square minus hp by k a t minus t infinity okay if we see the previous slide this is the thing because since this is zero you can take it on this side and then hp by k a okay now this hp by k a root over hp by k a is basically m and this is called fin parameter this is called fin parameter so when m is equals to root over hp by k a so then therefore this hp will be m square okay so this is a differential equation of second order so it will be like d square t by dx square minus m square t minus t infinity so the general solution for second order differential equation we all know from engineering mathematics you might have studied that it is c1 e to the power mx plus c2 e to the power minus mx okay now the c1 and c2 we need to specify with two boundary conditions so first one is obvious that the base temperature is known as tb okay means t at x is equals to 0 will be tb the second condition will depend on the type of fin we are using okay now for example assume the tip is insulated and no heat transfer means the temperature gradient at x is equals to l means at the end of the fin here at the end of the fin is actually zero okay so the temperature distribution is given by tx minus t infinity tx minus t infinity by tb minus t infinity is equals to cos hyperbolic m l minus x by cos h m l so temperature distribution means you can put any value x here and you can find out the temperature given tb and t infinity okay so you change the value of x you will get that uh, you will get the temperature from that value okay so and the fin heat transfer rate is this so this is only for when the tip is insulated and no heat transfer takes place so this is the main boundary condition okay this is the main boundary condition so this is a very important uh, derivation this is a very important uh, concept that you must be knowing about now there are many others and that i have tabulated for you that is temperature distribution for fins of different configurations so uh, another important configuration that you should be looking out for infinitely long fin where first of all that is t at x is equals to 0 will be tb this is this is very much obvious and then t at infinity is equals to t infinity okay so since there is no described length l because it is infinitely long fin so that's why anything beyond uh, a particular distance from the body is all ambient so it is t infinity t of infinity is t infinity so the temperature distribution is e to the power minus mx okay and if we talk about like given a uh, tip condition is this then we will have this and this is the fin heat transfer value okay and so on this is the adiabatic that we just did this and this is the formula for heat transfer okay now let's solve a numerical an aluminum pot is used to boil water as shown below okay it's a very uh, descriptive uh, diagram the handle of the pot is 20 cm long 3 cm wide and 0.5 cm thick the pot is exposed to room air at 25 degrees celsius and the convection coefficient is 5 watts per meter square degree celsius full stop question can you touch the handle when the water is boiling is the question for and the thermal conductivity for the aluminum is given is 237 watts per meter degree celsius ambient temperature is given is 25 degree celsius and the heat transfer coefficient h is given it's 5 watts per meter square degree celsius and the water is boiling at 100 degree celsius so that's why it's shown here okay now this is the body at 100 degree celsius and this can be taken as a fin okay now we can model it as an extended surface and we can just see the condition matches as specified in the fins h is equals to this is all given so we know how to calculate the heat transfer what is the formula for heat transfer this is the formula for heat transfer okay 
okay so and we can also calculate the uh, the x means uh, from, from the various point of x for the various values of x we can also calculate the temperature at that particular time so this was the formula as i have already told you earlier okay so plot the temperature distribution along the pot handle so you can see this is the value x this is the distance from the this is the basically pot body and this is the end end of that handle okay so you can see from 100 degrees celsius it is actually coming down coming down and coming down because the heat transfer has taken place now it is through conduction as well as convection so that's why the temperature is constantly coming down okay so as shown the temperature drops off very quickly at the midpoint so t 0.1 it is 90.4 degrees celsius it's a analytical thing you can actually plot it and the plotting uh, equation will be this okay so to t of 0.1 is 90.4 degrees celsius and at the end t 0.2 means at the end it will be so it will be 87.3 degrees celsius so therefore it it is so therefore it should not be safe to touch the end of the handle so you should not touch it with your bare hands and if it is plastic covered if it is plastic coated then it's another thing because plastic is an insulator and you know the thermal conductivity of an insulator is very much lesser as it does not have large amount of free electrons i am talking about the, my previous videos now the total heat transfer through the handle can be calculated also okay so total heat transfer is m tan h m l so you can calculate the total amount of heat and very small amount of latent heat of evaporation for water 2 to 5 7 is the latent heat of evaporation for water at 100 degrees celsius at normal atmospheric pressure is 2257 kJ per kg therefore the amount of heat loss is just enough to vaporize 0.007 of water in 1 hour if a stainless steel handle is used instead what will happen this is another question of the same question or this is another part now we are assuming so suppose uh, instead of that now we have stainless steel handle for stainless steel the thermal conductivity is now 15 watts per meter degree celsius so use the same parameter calculate the m okay and then plot it so you will find yes the temperature is dropping but it is not that steep as it was earlier okay so temperature at the handle uh, you can see the temperature at the handle that is x okay uh, is equals to 0.2 meters is only 37.3 degrees celsius so 37.3 degrees celsius not hot at all this example illustrates the important role played by the thermal conductivity of the material okay 